Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans to episode number 116 of Gold Pass Clash of Clans, kind of like a second half part episode to yesterday's lead up to vacation and now here we are post vacation and it's been exciting. I had a good trip. Make sure you check out the pictures from the vacation and my other videos. But while I was gone, there was a war underway and I had to go in and try to pick up a two star using sneaky goblins and super wall breakers. So that is right. We were down by one star. There were only minutes left in the war and I only had this army to go. I could not possibly train another one in time. So we dropped in the super troops and rolled in trying to grab a two star against this pretty well fortified Town Hall 13. Now, unorthodox strategy, of course. Yes, it is kind of unusual, but is it difficult to grab two stars even against a fully maxed out base? No, I think I've proven that. And if you wanna see attacks like that, make sure that you take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It is a small act that goes a long way to keep the videos coming for you guys. And of course, if you wanna do everything possible, you can always use creator code Galadon, but like I say every single time, make sure you're using somebody's creator code. It doesn't have to be mine. Okay, so yes. Obviously, you've seen this attack done dozens, if not hundreds of times on my channel. We roll in, we've got six super wall breakers, we bring three haste, three rage, one jump. The siege machine is the log launcher. The heroes are long gone, and at this point, actually, we're just cleaning up around the outside. We've destroyed all of the other loot bearing buildings, and yes, we actually come shockingly close to a three star attack using sneaky goblins. In fact, we're at 80% as we finally wrap up this raid. And is it going to be enough? Is it true that two stars win wars? Well, we pick up one additional star for the clan. We're gonna pop on over and see that we are now tied with the other clan. There it is, 65, 65, but go to percentages. And yes, believe it or not, as this war counted down, we were ahead by less than 1%. And that means that when we came back to the results of the war, we, um, all right, let's, let's, okay, let me, let me, let me delete that stuff later. Okay, so, you know, fine, maybe two stars don't always win wars, but sometimes they can help out. Let's move on to some upgrades, uh, and talk about how important it is to, to upgrade your lab, keep it going and rolling, and of course, we have Gold Pass Clash, so we have lots of books, use a book of spells, and then we're gonna move over to the clone spell, flip on over to the Gold Pass, flip on back, and use the book there, and then let's flip back again and get another upgrade going. How about giants? There we go, and giants are underway. We could book those, but perhaps we'll wait and do dragons. Okay, what else? Yes, almost down to, like I said, defense upgrade count, meaning how many defensive upgrades are left before we're done with Town Hall 13? And how close is No Cash Clash? I'll give you a little spoiler. Right now, I believe No Cash Clash is ahead, but overall, I think that Gold Pass Clash is likely to make it to Town Hall 14 before no cash does it's going to be that close it's going to be epic and of course it's all thanks to the gold pass yes four dollars and 99 cents us a month is getting us these huge discounts like the 20 percent builder boost that we just unlocked right here and that is going to be key to help get these upgrades done a little bit more quickly and actually it you know it's it's way more than 20 percent when you consider all of the additional runes that you're getting you're getting a rune of gold elixir and dark elixir pretty much every single pass and uh, yeah that's going to make a huge difference as well uh, maybe it's not every single pass but you know what i mean it's a lot of stuff it's a, it's a good value i'm not trying to sell it to you you do what you want and okay here we go this is it the barracks that is final two that is the final two that is the i'm so excited i can't even control myself i didn't even have to deal with it i went on vacation i came back all of my barracks are level 15 so we didn't suffer the slow training times that we would have normally and obviously that's something that not everybody can do it just worked out well for me it was worth spending a few hundred extra gems to finish another upgrade early so that we could get all of the barracks underway and man i am so happy that we got that done because it is by far my least favorite thing to do in each town hall and that is to upgrade the barracks okay look at that gold rune elixir rune feels good to get so many of those in but obviously we're just going to be doing walls for the most part because we don't have that many builders free and uh wait a minute wait a minute hold on we can do i think we could do two archer towers right 8.8 .8 million left i need 9.2 is it yeah 9.2 so let's go out and through the magic of youtube in one search 
we go and we find this base worth 2 million in resources because that's what YouTube does. Okay, now if you really wanted to look, you would see that the gold only went down by like two or three searches. So we did find this relatively quickly. For those of you that are in Town Hall 13, I suggest farming in Champion League. It definitely seems like the place to be right now. I'm not having a problem finding 2 million plus resource bases uh, you know, pretty quickly. It's it's not always going to be that fast, but I'll also tell you, I'm surprised post update. Usually the loot drops pretty significantly right after the update. So I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but right now I'm seeing a lot of big bases, even though the clan capital just arrived two weeks ago. Okay, so this is obviously gonna be my usual standard strategy. We are using all of the heroes. We're trying to use Invincigobs in the core. That means the Grand Warden of, oh wait, never mind. And, and, and Vince the Gops didn't work out because the Grand Warden went way out to the side. So we just have to kind of hope that the Goblins get in there in time and wipe out the Town Hall, which they did. That's nice. And uh, let's continue. We'll go ahead and make this a three-star the loot situation. So we go after every last piece of loot remaining. And that means we might have to come in on the backside with the jump spell to get to the Clan Castle. That's going to be the last building after this. Yes. Okay. With Dark Elixir. Dark Elixir Storage. And then we will jump into the CC. We've got a haste spell here. Here comes the jump. And we'll just fly past the Dark Elixir storage and get to it. There it is. Okay, so Dark Elixir down. And again, look at, we have seven, wait, we had way too many super wall breakers to begin with. But beautiful invisibility spell, I gotta say. Love it when you flex the invis just perfectly. And that wraps up a three star of the loot. Okay, now we can take this loot. We have plenty to come back and do that other archer tower. And it's all happening in real time because I promised you guys I would catch you up on the current status of Gold Pass Clash. And here you are. This is how it looks today. As we are getting this episode together, we are getting closer to Town Hall 14 and passing No Cash Clash. And the Wizard Tower is done in 24 hours. So thank you guys for being patient. Thank you for understanding that I do occasionally take a little bit of time off. But you got to do it because as you know, like the old saying, all work and no play makes Galley a dull boy. Okay, let's move on and talk about how we are back Whoa. up in Champion League. So that feels good. Unintentionally, again, not trying to push it, just sort of happens. Finally... <laughs> updated the gold pass points and we have plenty we should unlock the skin next episode for gems we are back up well Ooh. over 3100 gems so that feels good for the heroes we didn't get any upgrades going but we didn't yeah. have that much dark elixir so maybe we focus on that for next uh. time and we'd start the countdown to town hall 14. thank you galifam for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode you know you are the true hashtag galifam that's why i think about and love and appreciate you every single day every single moment and uh, what? Oh, get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. We come to the year, be kind of the people. I'll see you back here again some more for World X. I almost forgot what I was saying. What's wrong with me? Gallido, Gallido, I told you it's a little blue pills. You forgot them again, or the white ones, or the yellow ones.